top story. School threats are being reported more often these days, leaving some parents uneasy. And after a threat was made to one East Texas school last week, a special town hall meeting is being held tonight to reassure those parents. KTK's Kara Rucker joins us live from the Edgewood High School near Canton to give us those details, Kara. Well, that's absolutely right, Trin. It was at this school right here that police and school officials just recently conducted an investigation after a school threat was made by a student. The superintendent sent out a letter to parents, and she's also inviting parents to come to a town hall meeting here tonight in order to discuss further the safety of their children. So at 7 o'clock tonight, parents will be filling into the high school's gymnasium to hear from school officials and local law enforcement. This special town meeting was only added to the agenda after the school threat from last week. Even though the threat was said to be not credible, the school board says they still take it seriously, adding new measures to keep kids safe. Even most students understanding the lengths the school is going to in order to make them feel protected at school. Being able to see our police officers when, when and everywhere we go and seeing administration standing outside whenever we're changing classes makes me know that they are watching for us and making sure we feel as safe as possible. It is something that we all know that could happen here even if you don't expect it. The interesting thing about tonight's meeting is Edgewood Police Department will also be present. Both law enforcement and school officials showing unity in order to tackle such an important topic. So this school board meeting is going to start in just about an hour. And then after that, that's when they're going to hold this special town hall meeting. Of course, I'm going to be inside and if anything develops, I'll be sure to keep y'all posted and then I'll have the full story tonight at 10. Until then, I'm reporting live in Edgewood, Kara Rucker, KETK News.